if you feel like you've accomplished, you feel fun. You know,、yeah. like weightlifters. Sure, lifting weights is not fun. <laughs> it's like really, really hard. But it's a. But the、yeah, at the end of the session, it's the、fun. result. Yeah. So look for the、yeah. result you want. And maybe you can set a goal.、Uh, maybe you're coming to Korea, or maybe you want to make. Korean friends,、mm-hmm. uh, then it will definitely help you and also motivate you. That's right. So we're going to be、uh, jumping into the first part of K Talk, and as usual, we have an expression prepared for you. What is it? Okay, this is useful for、um, people who get questions like, "What do you want? What do you want to have? What do you want to, you know, buy?"、Uh-huh. But you don't really care, so you can say, "아무거나 괜찮아요." 아무거나 괜찮아요. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not very picky. You're not very picky. You will just eat or take or get anything that、uh-huh. is given to you. So the translation will be anything is fine. Anything is fine. Yeah. 아무거나 괜찮아요. 아무거나 괜찮아요.、Mm. I have.、Um, I mean, I use this expression、um, all the time with my coworkers because when we、um, have lunch, I think it's the same with any office. You only have. That many, so many restaurants around the sure. office. Sure. So it's always hard to pick where where to, yeah, where to eat.、Mm. So everybody keeps saying, "I'm gonna." I'm gonna. <laughs> so someone has to make a decision、yeah. at some point.、Mm-hmm. And since Hyunu is the CEO, maybe they'll <laughs> ask Hyunu. No. So where are we going? They never ask me. They just ask me to pay. <laughs> so, <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't、uh, mind that much, but anyway. Amugona, kinchanao. Yeah. yeah. Amugona, Anything is fine. Yeah. And you can use amugona separately too.、Uh-huh. Amugona, mogulkeo, or amugona,、mm-hmm. salkeo.、Mm-hmm. You can use it with other verbs because、yeah. amugona itself means whatever or anything. Sure. You can say, for instance, amugona chuseo.、Mm-hmm. Amugona chuseo. Give me anything. Yeah. Amugona chuseo. And in many、uh, bars and pubs around college campuses, Like university campuses, since so many people end up saying ah, I'm gonna make da,、mm-hmm. like just order anything for their side dish for maybe some beverage. There's actually some restaurants that have I'm gonna in the menu、ah. <laughs> as a set. I'm gonna yeah, and that's the name of the、uh, dish,、uh-huh. and that I'm gonna will probably have. Everything you know, kind of mixed It's a mix. In. Yeah,、uh-huh. it'll be probably the most expensive one, but you get. A little bit of everything. Yeah, and and if you're you know several、mm-hmm. people, then you can just share the whole thing, and it's nice. Yeah.、Um, and when I was looking at this expression, anything is fine. I'm gonna continue. There's also another phrase that I often use、mm-hmm. when because I'm kind of like you. I'm not very picky, and、mm-hmm. I eat pretty much anything,、mm-hmm. and I just follow、yeah. when people go somewhere.、Uh, I often say tajwayo. 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 What do you like? Tajwayo. I like anything. Yeah. So amugona kentanayo and tajwayo can be similar. Uh, but uh, sometimes, you know, depending on the context,、mm-hmm. if you, I think tajwayo is a little more positive. Okay. I'm good. F- you know, I'm down for anything. Yeah. Just give me food and I'll eat it. Maybe but, that's why I'm、yeah. quite positive. <laughs> tajwayo. <laughs> and amugona、uh, kentanayo is like I don't really care, but it just you know、yeah. go go ahead and pick. And ta is everything, right? Ta、mm-hmm. chuayo. Ta is everything. So you can use that for with another verb like ta chal mogoyo. Ta chal mogoyo. I eat everything well. Yeah, I、mm-hmm. like everything. I like eating anything.、Mm-hmm. So ta chuayo, ta chal mogoyo,、mm-hmm. or the expression you taught, amugona kenchanayo. Yeah. And kenchanayo is also often used when you're asking someone, "How are you?" You know, kenchanayo.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm good. Kenchanayo. Are you okay? Yeah. Kenchanayo.、Yeah. Or someone, let's say, someone tripped、mm-hmm. and fell. Yeah. Then you're like, "Oh, kenchanayo." Are you okay? Yeah. And I guess one difference between、um, amugona kenchanayo and the expression you introduced, ta chal magoyo or ta chuayo,、mm-hmm. is that with amugona kenchanayo, if you just start your sentence. Like amugona, people、mm. will understand. Amugona, you know, amu, <laughs> by, just by the word amugona, they will exactly know what you mean. And you can actually respond just by saying amugona. Amugona, or to be more polite, amugona yo. Amugona yo. Yeah. Amugona. <laughs> amugona yo. Yeah. <laughs> Little、uh, expression for you to、uh, maybe memorize or、uh, write down somewhere,、mm-hmm. and you can use it with Korean people when they ask you, "What do you want to have? Where do you want to go?" Not really. Where do you want to go? Amugona would be kind of strange,、mm-hmm. but what do you want to eat? Yeah. Or which restaurant do you want to go to? What type of food do you want to eat? Yeah. If you want to say 
anywhere, you can say 아무 데나. 아무 데나. Because 데 is spot. A place. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thank you very much for this uh, interesting expression. Uh, keep it in your heads. And if you want to learn some new words or some other uh, expressions, ask us and we will get back to you. Mm -hmm. We'll take a quick song break and we'll jump into our K-pop quiz. We're going to read the lyrics of a song and we want you to guess the Korean title of that track. Good luck to you in advance. If you have any questions, please send them in. We will answer them today. This is Park Hyo Shin, Shine Your Light. Welcome back on air. Happy Friday to all of you. You're right on time for our Korean lesson of the week. <laughs> Hyunwoo Sanseinim is here. We just taught you uh, an expression. 아무거나 괜찮아요. Mm -hmm. Anything is fine. Or 다 좋아요, if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to be talking about a song, Hyunwoo. We have our K-pop quiz. How does it work? Usually, or always, mm -hmm. <laughs> I read a part of a particular song yep. without giving you the Korean title because that's what you have to get. Yes. Sure. So we won't sing uh, in order to <laughs> make it a little harder. Yeah. Um, also to avoid embarrassment. <laughs> we'll just read. I'll just read uh, the lyrics. Yeah. And then you have to guess. Um, we'll which tell song? You, yeah, which song? Which will tell you who it sings. Is, it is by. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you'll have to guess it. Sure. So today we we have a song by Vix, the group Vix prepared for you. And you have to find out what the Korean, not the English title, mm -hmm. the Korean title is. Mm -hmm. Hyunwoo, yes, you can read the lyrics. Okay, here it goes. 하루 종일 나를 괜히 미워했겠지. 아직도 넌 나를 몰라 바보. 1년에 딱한 번뿐인 너의 생일. 잊을 리가 있겠어? 내맘 그동안 표현 못해서 미안해. 쑥스러웠나 봐 사랑한단 말. 두 눈을 감아줄래? Mm. Oh, after this person closes her eyes, what will happen? Uh oh, <laughs> 두 눈을 감아줄래. Presents, kisses. Close yeah. your two yeah. eyes. So yeah, this is about birthday. Yeah, mm. it is. Birthday, how do you say that in Korean? 생일. 생일. Yeah. 생? 생 is to be alive or to be born. Okay, and, and 일 is il day. Is day. So it basically comes from Chinese. Um, and yeah, 생일 oh, is... The day you were born. Yeah, the day The of day birth. you came to life. <laughs> 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 생일. Right. And that's why they use the expression 생일 축하합니다. Mm -hmm. When you want to wish a Korean person a happy birthday, mm -hmm. 생일 축하해요. Mm -hmm. 생일 축하합니다. Mm -hmm. 생일 is birthday. That's right. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, not to translate everything, but uh -huh. to go over what the lyrics are actually talking about. I think um, it's kind of hard actually for our listeners to guess mm. with the with the lyrics here because we don't have like a catchphrase. There is nothing That's that true. repeats itself. Yeah. Uh, to give you a hint, the title is not in the part that we just read. Okay. So that might not be a mm -hmm. big hint, but but it's a song by Vix. Vix, and it's about birthdays. Okay. And uh, let me just go through the lines really yeah. quickly just mm -hmm. in English mm -hmm. so you uh, the first line is like you must have hated me all day long mm -hmm. um, you still don't know me you're a fool <laughs> 미워했겠지 미워했겠지 and then your birthday is just one day out of a whole year how could I ever forget uh -huh. and then 바보 yeah 바보 <laughs> you know idiot stupid 바보 바보 for thinking that I have forgotten right and then the guy keeps singing like um, 내 맘 그동안 표현 못해서 미안해 sorry for not having expressed how I felt so mm. far uh, maybe I was just shy to say say I love you mm. could you or would you close your eyes so <laughs> very yeah. romantic 쑥스러웠나 봐 mm -hmm. mm. 사랑한단 말 mm -hmm. so basically this guy likes this girl but he's not very good at expressing his feelings mm -hmm. so the girl probably misunderstood his ideas or thoughts feelings yeah. and then maybe she was mad at him for maybe. the whole day hmm. um, another word that pops up in um, in front of my eyes yep. is that um, is mom mom yeah mom so it's a very short word one syllable with mm. three letters yeah mom meum a meum Mium. it sounds mom. similar to the English mom like mom yeah mother umma umma mom <laughs> but it's actually shortened um, from ma um 
Ma'um and yeah. what does ma'um mean? Ma'um can be your mind, your heart, your feeling, how, how you feel. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it can be many things. And mom. a lot of times people just shorten it to mom. Mom. So here as well, it's a song. So instead mm. of having two syllables, they wanted one syllable, mom. Mm. <laughs> uh, mom. Apayo. Mm-hmm. That's an expression you can use. Mau apayo. When, when let's say you break up with someone. Mm-hmm. You're Maumi sad. Mau apayo. You're yeah. sad. You're heartbroken. Yeah, my heart is broken. Mau mi apayo. Yeah, you're in pain basically. Mm-hmm. Your heart, your <laughs> mind is yeah. in pain. Yeah, and also in relation to what we introduced in the previous segment, mm-hmm. amugana, um, you can also say maumdero. I mean, it's not the same thing, but okay. maumero is related because maum is your heart or your feeling. Mm-hmm. Tero is as something goes. So yeah. maumero means as your feelings go. Uh-huh. So just following whatever you want to, you know, do your mm-hmm. desires. So maumero means like whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maumero haseo. Yeah, maumero yeah. haseo. Do what you want to do. And here, maybe just for our beginners, mm-hmm. if you want to say I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can use mian heo. Mian he. Here, yo. the lyrics say, ne mam, so what you just said, maum, mm-hmm. ne mam, kudongan pyoyan muteso mian he. Mm-hmm. So sorry for not being able to express my feelings, right? That's right, that's right. And mian he, sorry, yeah. mian he. Many uh, lessons will introduce the other expression for I'm sorry, which is 죄송합니다. 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 But that's really, really formal. Uh-huh. So you can't really say that to a close friend or your lover. Yeah. So it has to be um, 미안해. 미안해. When and you're close with that person, 미안해. Yeah, 미안해. But with Korean 미음, it sounds a little bit like B sometimes. Uh-huh. So I actually made a video many, many years ago just differentiating 미안해 and Piane, which, which is not a word, which doesn't exist. <laughs> doesn't okay? exist. Yeah. Piane. But a lot of people left comments saying, "I still don't hear the difference." Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you hear the difference, Miane and Piane? Okay, let us know. <laughs> you try it. Miane, Piane. <laughs> to me, it's like. Is there a difference for very, you? Very, for your <laughs> ears? Let us know. We'll play some music and we'll come back. We also want you to participate. So, what is the Korean title of the sac- the song we just uh, talked about mm-hmm. and it's a song by Vix. We're going to be playing it. The English title is Thank You for Being Born. We'll come back for part 3 of K-Talk with Hyunwoo. That's right. Welcome back, everyone. Surfing on the wave. Happy Friday to all the listeners around the world. It's almost the end of the week, Mm -hmm. and the weekend is near. Uh, We have Hyunwoo Sanseng-nim from TalkToMeInKorean.com, and we're trying to help you learn Korean. That's right. So in this part, we like to hear your voices, and you can send us your audio clips. The email address, CatchKoreanWave at gmail.com. Catch Korean wave at gmail.com and uh, you don't need to be fluent no 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 we want you to make mistakes and <sighs> in order for us to correct you and help you improve so it's it's not I mean it's also nice to have perfect comments and messages yeah <laughs> but we also want people who are in the process of learning so that yeah. we can help you that's right if your Korean is perfect there won't be any work yeah. for us to do. So. Sure. <laughs> so don't be shy. And uh, here we have a message uh, by Julia. And she's saying, preparing for this recording is quite a hard job. First, uh, the process of writing an article is quite challenging, you know, using the lessons that you've learned, just daily dialogues, buying things, talking about the weather, simple and short sentences. And then when doing the recording, it's so easy to be stuck at some syllables, letters, uh, and then you have to re-record again (laughs) from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, the outcome is still not the quality that I am satisfied with, but I will re-record again and again. She still sent us the message and said, thank you for Catch the Wave and Hyunwoo Sanseng Nim. I think this program really can motivate motivate us in our learning. Nomu kamsa 
합니다. 아, 감사합니다. Yeah, Julia, mm-hmm. let's uh, listen to your audio clip and we will try to help you as much as we can. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 줄리아입니다. 홍콩 사람입니다. Mm-hmm. 한국어 수업는 매주 토요일입니다. 6절 개월 동안 배웁니다. 정말 기쁜 게요. 때문에 5월 중순에 친구하고 서울에 갈 거예요. 5일 머무고 있어요. 오늘은 많이 한국 김신해 보고 싶어요. 그리고 너무 쇼핑 전송에 갈 거예요. 그런데 시간은 충분하지 않아요. 어떻게 할수 있어요? <웃음> 지금 여행 어그로 열심히 공부하고 있어요. 서울에서 한국어로 하고 싶어요. 하지만 걱정인 이해할 수 없어요. 진짜 걱정이에요. 댁들 <웃음> 감사합니다. 안녕. <laughs> Annyeong. <laughs> Thank um, you. Thank you, Julia, for this message. Yeah. Uh, she sent us this message from Hong Kong mm-hmm. and she's going to come to Korea, right? Uh, yes, in May. Yeah. In, uh, mid- mid-May. Mid-May, so for, in a few days. Yeah, for five days. Yeah. And um yeah, that's it's, exciting. It's uh, it's exciting and uh her audio clip was awesome uh-huh. in that she hasn't learned for a long time. But yeah. she actually I can tell. I can tell that she tried to form sentences some of these for the first time. Sure. Just for this recording which yeah. is really awesome. And that's very important when you learn a language, mm-hmm. you have to try to make sentences with the words you know. So Yeah. And that's also quite fun. And maybe it's not right in terms of grammar. Yeah. But people can still understand. That's right. And you have to keep expanding your territory. You know, you can't just stay in the comfort zone and yeah. keep saying the same things. Of course. You know, you can introduce yourself fluently a yeah. hundred times, but then it doesn't really matter, you know, after that. You can't really talk with people. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, awesome job. Uh, there yeah. were bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo. And honestly, there were many mistakes, but uh, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. You will be able to communicate with Koreans sure. at this level really, really well. She actually says, "서울에서 한국어로 하고 싶어요." Yeah, so she wants to speak Korean. Yeah, in um, Korea. To be more specific, you can say "말하고 mm-hmm. 싶어요." Yeah, so good idea, good attitude. You yeah. want to speak Korean in Seoul. <laughs> Do you want to correct maybe a few of her sentences uh, here? Sure. Um, uh, let me just go over um, what she said. Okay. Just, you know, briefly. But good. I will change, I will read it, but then read it in the modified version mm-hmm. for, for everybody listening out there okay. and translate it into English. Like, Perfect. Briefly. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 줄리아입니다. Hi, my name is Julia. Mm-hmm. 홍콩 사람입니다. I'm from Hong Kong. Yeah. 한국어 수업은 매주 토요일에 있어요. I have my Korean classes every Saturday. Mm-hmm. 6, 7개월 동안 배웠어요. I've learned for 6 or 7 months. Yes, Korean. Yeah, which which is awesome. Only 6 or 7 yeah, months. That's very good. can do this. 정말 기뻐요. Or 기쁜 게요. What I'm really happy about is 5월 중순에 uh-huh. 친구하고 서울에 갈 거예요. Uh, with a friend of mine, I will go to Korea in mid- mid-July. Mid-May. Uh, mid- sorry, mid-May. This I'm month. Ter- this month, basically. Terrible with numbers and dates. Over. <laughs> <laughs> and 5일 머물 거예요. I will stay there for five um, days. Days. Uh-huh. 5월에는 많이 한국 음식 먹고 싶어요. Mm. Uh, in May, I yum, want yum. to um, eat a lot of Korean food. Yeah. 그리고 너무 쇼핑 장소에 어, Okay, so I'll change this to uh, 그리고 쇼핑 장 쇼핑 하러 많이 갈 거예요. Mm, she I wants will, to do yeah, a lot of shopping. Yeah, do a lot of shopping. 그런데 시간은 충분하지 uh, 않아요. Oh no, she doesn't have enough time. 어떻게 해요? <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> 지금 여행 어구를 열심히 공부하고 있어요. I am studying hard mm. the travel phrases that I need. Um, 서울에서 한국어로 말하고 싶어요. Mm-hmm. I want to speak Korean in Seoul. Yeah. 하지만 이해할 수 um, This part I'm not so clear on. Okay. But um, maybe she wanted to say 하지만 이해 음, 못할까 봐 걱정이에요. 걱정이에요. I'm uh. worried that people might not understand me. Yes. 진짜 걱정이에요. 진짜 I'm 걱정이에요. really worried. 
and she uh, said 특별 감사합니다 but um, in more natural Korean you can say 정말 정말 감사합니다. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. 정말 감사합니다. That was very good, actually. Yeah, and we good. understood uh, 90, 95% of your message. Mm-hmm. So that's very good for someone who has only uh, learned Korean for six months, six yeah. or seven months mm-hmm. there. Uh, and she says she's also looking forward to food. Haha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nyam, nyam. Here in Korean, what, what's the sound they make when it's uh, something tastes good? Nyam nyam. Um, yeah, nyam nyam. I I guess. In fr- in France, people say nyam nyam. Nyam nyam. It's miam. Nyam nyam. In English, it's um nyam nyam. So yum, yum. I guess it's all similar. Nyam you know? nyam. <laughs> <laughs> nyam nyam. Have a good time. Do a lot of shopping. Eat a lot of food, and try to practice your Korean skills. Um, maybe Hanu for our listeners who want to improve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can you give them some advice? How can they practice their speaking skills? Well, like I said earlier, you have to um f- like make time uh-huh. to feel uncomfortable in mm. like in a way you know you have to put yourself in an uncomfortable <laughs> situation at least uh for one minute a day yeah you know imagine somebody sitting in front of you and waiting for you to open your mouth and say yeah. something in korean um without that st- like stimulus you yeah. will never improve so try to challenge your brain and mm. challenge yourself yeah yeah so just mm. force yourself to say something. And maybe well, you can do this by sending us an audio clip, just mm-hmm. like Julia did once again. Congratulations. We will be sending you a book sponsored to us by Hanu and his team, TalkToMeInKorean.com. Mm-hmm. So, Julia in Hong Kong, please send us your address on winner information, and we will get back to you. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. We'll play some music, and we will answer your questions. If you have any curiosities, we can help you learn some new words or expressions after this song. Hot Shot. Watch out. There you go, a fun little song full of energy on this Friday. Welcome back. Hyunwoo Sanseng Nim is still here. We just had uh, Julia, one of our listeners, sending in an audio clip, and you can do the same. The email address, catch Korean Wave at gmail.com just record yourself uh, anything you want to say in Korean it could be a self introduction it could be something you learned in a class or maybe while you were watching a Korean drama or listening to a K-pop song anything and you can also do it with a friend if you want Mm -hmm. yeah we have some questions Uh, Hyunwoo I'm gonna ask you some questions okay hit me with questions let me see um the first one is from Mexico here. We have Lilian joining us. 안녕하세요. 현우 선생님, 에이드리안 씨, 오랜만이에요. 돌아왔어요. I'm back. <laughs> uh, next week, I will be taking my last exams for this year. I just have two questions. Mm-hmm. Speakers of any language use filler words mm. uh, when speaking uh, in English or Spanish. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about in Korean? What do they use? Uh-huh. <laughs> so these filler words. Like, um, well... Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. In Korean, you know. I, th- <laughs> I think... Uh, the Korean language has more types of fillers than English. Oh, uh, you think so? Yeah, there are many more words that people use, and hmm. um, one of them, maybe two of them, are um, ku, ku, and mak, ku, mak, yeah, ku. So when <laughs> can you give us a ku? Mogaso ku ma. Na oje, na oje ku. So ku means the or uh. that something. So people, instead of saying the word when they can't think of uh-huh. uh, the uh, uh, name, they say ku, ku, ma, ku. And also, yeah, itana is itana. like you know, you know. And um, also, when you can't think of a person's name, uh, itaga ku, <laughs> that person ku, you know. Mm. And uh, mak is similar to like. Like, 내가 어제 막 어, 막 막, 어, 어, 있잖아. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> ku and mak and itana, these are maybe very common, yeah, very filler common. <laughs> expressions or words. That's an interesting question. First yeah. time we talk about this. I think I'll have to make a proper lesson out of this on Talk to Me. It can be a yeah. fun topic, actually. Yeah. Um, and Lilian had a second question. Cho gatin kyongu nun. So, and she, what does this mean? She's asking us the meaning of this phrase. Cho gatin kyongu nun. Da 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 da. So, kyongu means case, and cho gatin kyongu means 
in my case. Mm. So basically, that's it. In my case. In my opinion. In my case. Yeah. As, 같은 경우는. Yeah. As for me, or I think. Mm. So um, it can be just shortened to 제 경우에는. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But 저 같은 경우는 is just as for me. Yeah. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for these uh, interesting questions, yeah. Lillian from Mexico. We have another question here by uh, Hosanna in the USA. 안녕하세요, 선생님 and DJ Adrian. Um, I have seen she and a mm-hmm. said and added at the end of a person's name uh-huh. or maybe for a pet. Uh-huh. Uh, min, she, koko, a. Uh-huh. Uh, so what does this mean? How do you use this? Okay. Yeah. So uh, short answer, you only use she, a, or ya after a certain person's or an animal's name uh-huh. when you're calling them. Yeah. Not to talk about them. So when you're calling them, like yeah. you have a dog and his name is Coco. Coco. So when I say, uh, hey, Coco, I say Coco, yeah. Coco, yeah. Yeah. So when that name ends without patim, the last consonant, you add yeah. So mm-hmm. when, when my friends call me, they call me, they don't say Hyunu. No, <laughs> Hyunu, yeah. Yeah, they say Hyunu, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, and my parents will call me Hyunu Ya. Uh-huh. And uh, your Korean name, Chun. Chun. So Chun A, right? Chun A. Yeah, so with a Pachim, it's A. And when you're being polite, honorific, it's Si. So uh-huh. only when you're calling somebody's name. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, very good question. Thank you, uh, Thank you, Hosanna from the USA. We have some more comments here. Uh, let me see. A lot of people asking us different questions. William yeah. from Colombia. Um, I'm having a good time listening to you guys and also catching up with uh, K-pop. I was wondering if there is an equivalent expression for you're barking at the wrong tree. Uh, barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, there's maybe two. You can say 사람 잘못 봤어요. Ah, like 사람 잘못 봤어요. You've chosen the wrong person. Uh-huh. Or 번지수 잘못 찾았어요. <laughs> <laughs> 번지수 is basically your home address. Yeah. And 번지수 잘못 찾았어요. You're at the wrong door. I think that's uh, the closest expression yeah. probably to uh, the English. You're barking up you know, the wrong tree. Yeah, yeah. So 번지수. Remember that 번지수. What is it once again, the full expression? 번지수 잘못 찾았어요. 번지수 잘못 찾았어요. You've found the wrong address. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll leave it there for today. Uh, we're running out of time. But thank you for your questions, everyone. And you can still send us your messages on our message board, arirangradio.com slash catch the wave. Not only today, but any time when you're studying, just send us a message. And with Hyunu on Friday, we will take care of your little linguistic problems okay and we'll be back next week with some more fun we'll close down this edition and Hyunwoo we'll see you next time that's right but before we go we have to give the answer right that's right I almost forgot for the (laughs) quiz we talked about our K-pop quiz a song by Vix the English is thank you for being born what's the Korean? 태어나줘서 고마워 태어나줘서 고마워 Mm -hmm. thank you for being born yeah (laughs) (laughs) we'll post the name of our lucky winner online so check it out and if you see your name leave us your address thank you this is Electro Boys Bing Bing Sagori Bing Bing Crossroads